Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about forms. Before we do that though, um, we can save the query that we just created um, for finding all the customers in London. Um, still got the filter criteria in here. So to save it, just close it here and Access will ask you um, do you want to save the changes? We'll say yes. And it's going to ask you for a query name. So we're going to prefix it with QRY again. So and I've just decided to call it QRY Query Customers London. Um, I've named it all as one word as well, just for. Um, ease of use and readability. So we'll click OK. Go back to the database window and you'll notice that we've now have a query there called Query Customers London. So on to forms now. Um, a form is where you can enter your data. Um, it's a visual representation of your data in a neat format. Um, you can color the form, you can add fields, you can move them around, you can filter the records. Um, it's just a better way of presenting data. Um, now a form it can be based on either a query or a table. Essentially that means that's, that's where the form is going to get its data from, query or a table. So, go back to the database window and we'll click on forms here. And we'll click new. We're not going to use the wizard this time, we're going to go straight into a design view because that's the best way of learning how to create a form. We'll pick our data source. For now we'll select Query Customers London and we'll go OK. So Access has now created us a, a blank form template. Just move the database window out of the way. And this here is um, all the fields within our query. We just move that there and expand it out. So these are all the fields we selected um, for our query, finding all the records within London. Um, now we can just move individually onto the form by holding down and dragging. Do that again. Click on the field hold it down and drag it to the form and then let go. You want to try and place them um, underneath each other. Some people will go over here but it's best to just go about here. That's where the control is going to be. So essentially what you have here is a control and a label. Control, label control label. We can maximize the form by doing that. We can expand the form. Just go down to here until you get like a, an arrow pointing up and down. Hold down your mouse and drag. In the same way, you can do the sides. Hold down your mouse there, drag. Okay. I'll take these off for now. We can also put all the fields on by double clicking the top here and holding the mouse down on the blue bit. We'll do that again. As soon as you double click, it turns the whole list blue. Hold your mouse down anywhere in the blue section. Hold the mouse button down and drag. Drag to the form and let go. And you can see you have all your fields there this time. Now we might want to move all the fields around rather than individual ones so what we can do is press down on the mouse button and move it move the mouse down and you'll see like a a rectangle forming and then you want to just drag it to the left here until the square goes around all the controls and labels and then let go and you can see like it's selected all of them there now all we have to do to move them is just move our mouse. We don't hold any mouse button down. Move our mouse until we see the hand symbol. See it there? The hand symbol. Now press a mouse button 
pressing the left one keep it pressed and move and we can see we're moving all the fills at once let go and now they're there you can move individual ones by clicking on them and again just move your mouse until you see the hand so click on it and then move the mouse till you see the hand now press the mouse button hold it down and move if you want to extend the field click on it move the mouse till you see the double arrow there hold down the mouse button I'm dragging it right hold it down drag then let go let's have extend the field we can undo that command just by going up here edit undo sizing and it's back to how it was so we can just move it back up there now if we run this form now by going up here and selecting view or we can go here and select form view which will do that now we can see that the form has data in it and this is the data we saw in our query essentially the data that we put into our table earlier we can see that some of the data is not showing so what we want to do is we just want to extend that, that field there right click on the form, go to design now click on company name move the mouse till we get the double arrow press the mouse button down and extend it, pull it to the right so that should show company name better run the form again view form view okay now it shows it's probably a bit too long there but essentially it's going to show more data so this is all our data from our, our table that we entered earlier we can get, go down to the bottom here we can see the navigators so we can press this one to move forward press this one to go right to the end of the records and we're on record 3 press this one to go right to the beginning of the records record 1 this one to go forward and this one to go back ok we can tab through the records press your tab key move through each one ok now we could colour the form as well go into the design right click anywhere on the form here until you see this command fill that colour and select any colour you want from here I'm going to select this turquoise one could select a different one um, so more of a bluish light blue, that's probably a bit too bright but I think I'll go back to our original colour now we have a sort of greeny turquoisey background if you notice the labels now, we run the form we can still see the text on the labels but it, it could be a little bit dark to read, so right click again, form design now we want to change the label colour um, every every label there, rather than individual ones, so to do that, just I'm just going to click just below here hold down the mouse and move it up, you can see like a, a square rectangular thing forming, keep moving until you've covered all those labels and then let go and it's put like sort of um, little pink icons around the labels now if we move the, move over the labels with the mouse we can see a little hand forming so uh, once you see that hand on any label just press your right mouse button okay now you see this menu now and what you want to do is you don't want to fill the back colour this time because we're talking about the text on the label so what we want is the full colour so it's this one here, font full colour and 
and we'll just select white. So now our label fonts, um, our label text is now white. So if we run the form, we can see that's slightly clearer now. Um, move that out there. Um, we're actually showing the auto number field here, the customer ID. Um, we don't always have to show that. It's not always necessary. We can quite easily make that invisible by right clicking form design. Click on the or right click on the on the on the control customer ID. Select properties. And if we look down here we can see there's a visible property. It's saying visible yes. We turn that to no. Remember this is only the customer ID control we're concerned with, so we want to set visible to no. Close the properties window. Now if we run the form again, we can see that that control it's n no longer showing. It's still there, still on the form, but we've set it to be invisible. So we can still move through our records, it's just that we're not going to see the customer ID. To bring it back, just go into properties again of that control, right click on it, and you could just set visible back to yes, and that would show it. Each control will have a control source. Now the control source is essentially the column in that table that sits behind the form. So for company name, we've got a field called company name. And these are all our fields in the table. So for the company name control, we need to bind it to the company name field in the table. If we we'll go back to the database window, we can see in our table we created a company name field. Run the table, and there it is, company name, and that's what's binding to that control on the form. Company name, just run the form. Company name binds to company name in the table. In the same way, the address field will bind to this address field here in the, in the customer's table. To find out what the control source is of the form, you just go to this square here and double click it. And that will tell you the record source, which is our query that we just created for customers in London. QRY Customers London. If we run it, running the form, we can see three records here for London. London, 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 London. Now supposing we want to show all the records, well we can easily do that. Right click the form, go back into to design, we'll leave that there. We'll go back into our query and we're going to remove the filter that we put on there for London. So we'll just delete that, cut that off, save the query. Now if we run it, we can see now we have eight records because we've taken the filter out for London. So we're showing London, Kent, Glasgow, Yorkshire, Merseyside and Swansea. Now, although we've changed our query now to show everything there, because our form is bound to that query, Query Customers London. Now, if we run our form, we should have the exact same, same representation that we just saw in the query. So let's run it. Well, there you have it. We now have eight records. Before, we had the three for London. But because we changed the filter in the query, we removed the London filter, we're now showing all records in the form. So let's move through them. London, London, Kent, London, Glasgow, Yorkshire, Merseyside, Swansea. The London filter has gone. So essentially, whatever we change in the record source of the form will be reflected within the form itself. So that's just a quick 
introduction to a very quick form.